last session, the party stayed with the Edgeworths, trying to cope and grieve the loss of Reinhardt. The party began to think about ways to possibly afford the resurrection ritual. That night, Nicholas Hollyhock came and negotiated a deal with the group in exchange for an artifact and the materials for a resurrection. After which, the group learned that a Kokorian ambassador would be arrived soon, arriving soon, and are trying to figure out how best to approach the matter. They spent time in the garden with the Directian Prince, getting to know him and just trying, really just trying to decompress after the quite taxing events these past couple of days. It appears that there are many different investigations that need to be made, and so the group has decided to split up and jump into many different investigations before reconvening. And for those that do- and for those in the audience, this is basically my in-universe way of describing, okay, look, we're having scheduling issues, but there's an in-universe reason for it. <laughs> I mean, justifiable. D&D is difficult. Or, um, Pathfinder is difficult. I gotta break that habit. <laughs> yeah, everybody's breaking that habit lately, considering, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. All right. There's their foot. There's the shotgun. <laughs> All right. All right, so the group has been divided. So with uh, Raymond, Hoshimi, Sybil, and Flint going in one direction, we have Seven, Olwen, and Adrian going in another. First, this, this, this group on the right has decided to drop by uh, Olwen's house. Olwen's apartment, just to try and gather some resources. You have left the castle. It is a very, uh, it's a, it's still a very brisk morning. What do you do? Uh, Seven kind of looks longingly back, watching Hoshi, Flint, and Sybil, and Raymond walking away. She's looking a little scared and insecure, because Hoshi not attached to her hip anymore. Um, but then uh, quickly darts back and kind of gets in between Owen and Adrian. Like, for, like, both me. <laughs> Owen, uh, taking the hint, she uh, places one of her hands on Seven's flank um, as reassuringly as she can, even though she's not really feeling very assured either herself. Uh, Adrian um, does the same uh, thing, and he keeps on thinking to himself, "I don't have time. I don't have enough time. I need to. I need. I need to make time." All right. So as you str- as you prowl through the streets of the City of Heroes, uh, yeah, it's a uh, ca- there's a the traffic is uh, very. Uh, Traffic is very light, uh, and uh, you head you head to your apartment, and there is a figure standing at the door. I am scared. Uh, do I recognize the figure? Uh, no. <laughs> no you oh, do not. oh, hexical. I mean, yay! It's not Hollyhock, but what? <laughs> do I re- do I recognize the figure? <laughs> Uh no. Okay. <laughs> I doubt just, it. just curious. Just yeah, this. nobody nobody recogni- nobody recognizes this figure. Thank you. <laughs> uh this figure, he uh <laughs> he appears to be uh dressed in like, clothing that is covering his entire body. 
and you're slightly put off by his appearance because he's wearing a mask. Also, he ca appears to be carrying some sort of spear with three prongs at the end. Uh, Seven doesn't make fast movements, but her hair is standing up. All right. Stuart. All right. Stuart, your character, he's looking around and he sees the the descriptions of people he was told to meet. Uh, my character will look at the I, I'm guessing he's got this written down in like a like a, a piece of paper or something. Uh, yes. All right. He looks at the paper, looks at you guys, does like a double double take and then waves and gives a friendly oh, top of the morning to your laddies. <laughs> He gives a, pol a polite little bow um, and goes, oh, I, be, I, I am, I've been sent uh, uh, by, me uh, by this missive here to come uh, do a little bit of a questie with you. Might I join your party? Uh, I, 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 what? Uh, oh. oh, I should, I, I wear me manners. My name is Tree. point this out first <laughs> boulder now tree <laughs> okay then hang on i need to where's that picture again npc where's the picture <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh let me uh, oh you want me to do it again right. yeah, yeah do it again. I, I just i i'd like to know where i can find him but yes yeah, sure uh, i just want to see the picture again because i didn't get a good look because yeah, my eyes were get, get, so get a better look at him all right, I'll put him as uh, observer level positions. He is in the party folder. <coughs> All right, so <laughs> I'll also put the his actors up. folder. Is it in journal? Uh, in compa actor. Companions. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, I'm going to put him right. Whoop. Ah, there he is. So in terms of on stage, I'm standing outside their apartment, kind of like blocking the door. Yeah. Uh, I would think so. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> and, and it's th these three individuals, correct? Yes, these three individuals. You okay. see a grip. You see a. A talking griffin with uh, rods just kind of jutting out of the top of her head. Doesn't and, she uh, wear a hat these days? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She wear. Oh yeah. I forgot. She wears a hat. We need. We need to get artwork for. Her. <laughs> <laughs> and I you had see. All this poor bird. <laughs> yeah, and you see a, a, a tiefling with a, big A sniper rifle. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 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 and uh you see uh, and you see an elf uh dressed in uh dre dressed in dre dressed in nice clothes and he's kind of you see him kind of fondling a pocket watch <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's weird the elf the elf looks like the most normal person here <laughs> fair enough um uh, anyway, yeah, I'll just um, <laughs> I'll just continue it. I, I d turns out I'd be having a job with you. Um, might I join your party? Uh, uh um, I, I tree is it? Who uh sent you? Who said that you had a job with us? Uh, there's a note that you uh you remember, uh tree that there is a note that uh you were told to give them. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, oh, one moment, please. Uh, he just rummages through his pockets, like, multiple ones, until he finally, like, reaches down, um, like, uh, the breast and, like, grasps a letter, pulls it out, and then, like, uh, holds his hand out for you. Does he wear a mask? Is he wearing a mask? Yes. Mm -hmm. he is. Okay, that explains it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, here we go.
I think he's trying to show us the note. Oh, there we oh okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Adrian takes the note. Uh, I will arrange a meeting for us at some point in the future. Unfortunately, doing so immediately would put myself in life-threatening danger. Even getting you these notes is risky. I don't know how the criminal is able to navigate the city or that castle without getting caught, but for someone like me, it's extremely difficult. My current objective is to find a way to do so. I digress. There is a matter that requires your attention. The coroner is missing, but I do not believe he's dead. If he were devoured by the creation, there would be trace of the coroner's gear anywhere as uh, there was with this the seamster. Thus, we must conclude the coroner is no longer in the city of heroes. I'm privy to a few details of the evening of the breakout, and one of them is as follows. The creature, summoned by the mage, which we now refer to as the beast, was observed to be leading the, the coroner away from the station. Why the beast didn't simply kill him, I do not know. However, he cannot be far ahead of you. If you make haste in your investigations, you might be able to locate him before anything unfortunate happens. Unfortunately, the coroner may shed light on the events of that terrible evening. All will be revealed soon. I will make sure of it. I simply need to a, find a perfect opportunity. And as I write this, I believe one may have appeared to me. Good luck. The turncoat. Um, <clears throat> Olin kind of snarls as much as she can as she reads who the note is from. And I do not like that he is trying to find a way to navigate the castle like he does. I don't like, he's not supposed to be able to do that. I mean, he took Mom, your mother's he... book. Hollyhock Seven. Eight. Hollyhock was in the castle. Yes, it. Hollyhock has been in the castle at least twice. Once to steal something from the royal family. And the second time, he tried to take Adrian's mother's book. I'd imagine that tree is uh, very is uh, missing a lot of context here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if if he is, um, he is uh, he's got an amazing poker face about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is wearing a mask, so yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seven looks back to tree and looks him up and down, and her eyes kind of narrow. You don't look like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> right you are, lassie. I am, in fact, not a tree. <laughs> I am gonna... Do you like to be a tree? But your mouth doesn't move. Unless she, 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 she lifts her talon up and very slowly points it towards your face and then taps the mask. Uh, Slice but... your face hard. <laughs> um, he'll he'll jerk back a little bit when you tap it, and he'll be like, "Oh, Lassie, I, I ask you, please don't touch me face. It's quite delicate, don't you know?" Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just that your mouth isn't moving when you talk. He is wearing a mask, Seven. Um, some people wear it for disguise. Some people wear it for to prevent illness. It, there are many many uh, applications for it. Hi, Lassie. I. Oh, excuse me. I, my main question is, how did you come across this turncoat and retru receive this note to <coughs> give to us? I am but a humble servant, Lassie. I actually work for a farmer outside of town by the name of Horace Clairvaux. I think I said that right. Yeah. Right. Horace Clairval. Clairval. Well, he he's not saying it right, but that's. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> that's, that's okay it, well well <laughs> I guess um, it's it's a wee small farm don't you know and I'm simply here in order to earn some pocket money uh, for me master uh, alright I'm doing the equivalent of a sense motive which is just a looking at him check alright mm. uh, perception <laughs> 
can't, because he is covered in all of this gear, it's just you, you're having a lot of trouble determining if he's hiding anything just from his tone alone. Because his body language is giving you zero hits. <laughs> Owen looks over at Adrian to sort of be like, help. <laughs> He'll do the same, I guess. <laughs> All right, hey, go for it. I apologize, my. my okay, the head. twelve, twelve would save the day, kind of. Yay! The good twelve. All right, so uh, with the little t with the twelve right there, uh, Adrian is. Uh, you're you're looking at up at the end. This guy does not seem to be lying. It, he appears just... It's a, a weird thought creeps in the back of your head. You're unsure if this guy is capable of lying. He just seems... <laughs> to, there's, there's that twinge of innocence about it. <laughs> Maybe we should talk more inside your apartment, Owen. Um, sure, fine. Um, Owen sort of leads them up the stairs and into her place and she starts uh making some tea All probably right. not as good as uh prince arthur's but it'll do yeah oh by the way adrian as you put as you're putting the uh note that he that uh tree gave you in your pocket yeah you're feeling around someone else put it yeah there's another piece of paper in there Okay. That, you don't, that you don't remember putting in there. What the? Okay, that's weird. Takes uh, he takes out the set the second a uh, second a second piece of paper. Oh, what's this? Um, hang on. Uh, let me be clear, Elf. The only reason I'm here is because Sis wanted me to be. She may trust you, but that doesn't mean I do. I won't let you die. Make no mistake. But by no means do not make us friends. If I judge it necessary, I won't hesitate to kill any of you. Don't make it necessary. You look uh, uh, before you walk into the apartment, you look around and just like off in the corner, you can see the faint glow of a familiar, you can see the faint eye glow of a familiar, of a familiar fox-shaped individual. Oh, okay, okay, I know who that is. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Anyway, that was out of character. <laughs> you don't uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, this is one, one of the fun parts of this, is just bringing in the group, uh, bringing in someone else to the group, and there's all these things that are, like, kind of freaking people out, and the guest is like, what, 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 what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to be polite. <laughs> you're good. You're good. All right. So, uh, where is it? Yeah. Well, someone's clinging to Adrian really tight. Well, not to her, but just really tightly because she's nervous. Yes. New oh. guy in Olin's room, and and Hoshi not here, and and need to go find the the other teethy lady. The teethy lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> teethy uh, lady. Also, yeah. Also, uh, Olwen. On your de on your table, there is a gift basket. Oh, um, all right. She opens up the gift basket. Is is that the apartment entrance? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, Tree will not make himself at home. Instead, he will just kind of hang out right there, just politely like guarding the door. As a coat oh. hanger. Yeah, as a coat hanger. Yeah. Hey, he'll he'll take. He'll take his, um, which you now see very clearly as like a farmer's pitchfork, and just kind of stand like at warrior's attention. Um, okay. She's getting a little weirded out by all the things that, like, there's a gift basket in her apartment, and the only people who have her key should be her parents, and she knows that they are not in a place to give her a gift basket. So she carefully looks for a note or any sort of signifier as to who it is. Uh, who is this from? All right, one second. Oh. <coughs> uh, uh, Do I recognize the handwriting? 
It's uh, yeah, you recognize this hat, this handwriting from uh, start from Bluebeard. Oh, the horrible, messy scrawl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think my unit sent me some things. Uh, it, okay. Yeah. All right. Bluebeard does have a key, right? Um. Sure. What? Apparently, we have to get things registered. Yay! More work to do. What's in here? All right, there is a. Where is it? Ah, All right, so you see a bunch of uh, quite a few different items. Uh, a couple of them appear to be healing potions. Uh, one of them appears to be a talisman with an eye on it. Another appears to be uh, two uh, rounds. Another appears to be a badge. Another is a shirt. Uh, a couple. There's also a pouch of gold in here, and there's a magnifying glass. Um, Owen takes the gold and adds it to the get my brother back fund. How much is that? A hundred sixty gold pieces. What the what? Okay. Um. You get. You get. It's like as soon as you see the amount of gold, you're. I guess you get. All would probably be choking. It's like, oh my gosh, they pooled all that together just to help you. Oh. Sorry, out of character, but that was. Oh, no, 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 that's not fine. That's so uh, sweet. Yeah. Um. Uh, she she immediately put that in her pouch as like I'm gonna save this for when we need what we need for Reinhardt, kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. What do I need to roll in order to identify anything else? Like, identify better. Uh, let's see. Hey, can I assist? Yes, uh, yes, please. You can, yes, Get you over can here. All, you can all, yes, you can all assist. Uh, Ooh, okay. So, yeah, uh, just ro roll an arcana check for the magnifying glass, the both of you. Okay. Oh, yeah, you two do that. Wait, I don't mm. think I can roll arcana. Can I? Are you trained in it? Or am I? I'm an expert. Nope. I'm the high. Nope. I am negative one. <laughs> yeah. That's a negative. Uh, that's a negative. Uh... Uh, so, yeah, neither of you two have uh, seen this thing, but ha ha have any idea what this uh, is. So you feel like you're just going to have to use it at some point. In order wait, to wait. Hang on a second. Wait. Huh? I have something that I still have since the first inventory. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use one of the consumables, Wand of Object Reading. Ah. <laughs> there we go! Do it. Victory! <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Wait, lacks of proficiency. Uh, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be correct. Okay, so, uh, Wand of Object Reading is, uh, to learn... Okay, you place a hand on an object to learn a piece of information about an emotional event that occurred involving the object within the past week. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it doesn't it, do that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Nice try. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's more of an <laughs> it's more of an investigative spell like uh Yeah, it's uh, that that's what that's actually for, but you know, Neat. it's a uh, yeah, glad you glad you have that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, the other thing that you might want to look at in, in the evening is the is the shirt. Is that Arcana or regu or anything else? Uh, that would be Arcana. Okay. Let's try this. Again. Wow. Hey, lucky okay. Seven. Not really. There we go. There we go. There are 30. Yeah, that's, that's... Holy cow. Let's get the shirt done. Jeez. <laughs> Did, were you attempting to fake curse there? I can't tell. Oh, no, let's get this shirt done. As in, like, as... <laughs> <laughs> hey, this isn't the good place all the time, honey. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you know this as a Adrian. You've seen this before in uh, uh, people who have uh, who have had to get from one place 
quick quickly to another. You've even seen this in like a uh, little competitions. Uh, this is a quick runner shirt. When you wear this, it allows you to feel le lighter and emit and a move and you move with greater speed. And you can and ju judging from the uh, the fact that the fabric is embroidered with arrangements of winged feet, you're about like ninety eight per sure that percent sure that, that that's what this does. <coughs> yeah, so, uh, who wants to run fast? Okay, well, that might be good. Hmm. What might that be good for? I already run fast! Yeah, well, you're already, well, you're already decorated. I don't think you need, um, I don't, I don't think this quite, um, fits you. Like, what's, uh, what, like, what size is the, uh, the shirt for? Uh, it's a... <laughs> Is it, it? It's a it's a medium, but uh, you know you could probably uh, twist it around to make it a scarf for seven. Oh, for crying! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you could put a belt on it to fit Sybil or Flint or something. There you go. <laughs> At this rate, we're gonna make se we're gonna make seven look like a Taurus. <laughs> I mean, that, I'm I really. Right. I mean, let, I mean, come on. I already stand down. Do I really need any more help with that? I really, <laughs> really want to have I'm a, a talking Griffin. I really Our... want to have a blur of white fur just come and yoink, and the shirt's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know what, <laughs> Josh? Do you want to see it like roll to see if Yuto will actually do that? Like, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss. We'll, <laughs> Ellie and I will discuss that in the sidebar. <laughs> okay. Not, 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 I mean, not in the sidebar in a, in, a, in PM. But okay, that's fine. All okay, right, so, but anyways, um... next one. Uh, roll Arcana or Society, whichever is bigger. Both of them are the same for me. Gosh dang it. Uh, Arcana is higher for me. Ah! It's okay. I can't roll at all. <laughs> Why am I oh, rolling gosh. like your Jeez. All right, well. <laughs> I don't know, like, garbage! <coughs> it's okay, I can't roll at all. <laughs> like, our modifiers are great, but we can do like. <coughs> <laughs> we keep rolling, like, but why is it that the 12 was one of the better ones? I don't know. I didn't do it, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm not wasting our... a hero card on this, I'm sorry, but like, yeah. I'm still bummed. Yeah. All right, so um, next one is crafting. Okay, I can do that. I know that one. Something, maybe. <laughs> wow, Josh, <laughs> every single time I cannot help here. Every <laughs> single <laughs> time. <laughs> okay, your last rolls were a three, a four, a seven, a three, a two. <laughs> You have not rolled above a 10! Oh, can, can I have a vote of let her re-roll this one time, please? Uh, just, I can't. Just I, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I, come I on, can't. DM! I can't! <laughs> you can look away! Let me look at the hero cards. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I tried it. Sorry, Ari, I tried. I know. Like, oh, actually, Josh, I think I'm actually missing two uh, hero actions. Oh, uh... All right, so <laughs> weighted dice. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I can't use I can't use spells, so I'll use the aura of protection thing. I'm just All right, roll, roll it one. again. I have oh, God. Again. The, ca the, ca the crafting one. Yeah. I believe. Come on, above a ten. Oh. Really? Well, it's better. <sighs> I used a I used a thing. I, I, luckily, I'm... luckily for you, the DC for this one is smaller because this is something that you would be familiar with. Thank you. Yay. God. Okay. Two rounds of freezing ammunition. Ah. Oh, thank you. All right. Could you please stick that in my inventory? Yes. Ay ay ay. You have not rolled above a ten. I am. What is going on? 
I I'm mad. Can, I'm can mad. you test your your dice once more, like on a perception check or something? I want to see if it'll go over a ten. Yeah, I'll just roll just once. Really quick, just you like delete. What? Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna do. I'm just. I'm gonna roll until I get something good. At eight. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Okay, there we go. Hey, okay, now we're waiting. clear. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh. oh <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. I'm throwing. Okay, I'm putting in two rounds of freezing ammunition for you. <sighs> okay. I also need to get my regular ammo, which I think is in my room. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you found. You go into your. Yeah, you. So yeah, after this we'll say that you grabbed your lockbox, which has about which has uh, ten rounds in it. This and next, uh, all right, this next one, uh, you can roll in uh, religion, okay, or arcana. Can I do it? Oh, can religion or arcana. Are you a, are you trained or an expert in it? Untrained plus two. That's that means that means no, right? Oh uh, yeah, if it, uh, the, uh, but you're not trained in religion. Yeah. It says so trade, but I have a plus two in it. Why? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> oh, what is going I, on with the rules? Yes. I Give like me this. Something to help. No. <laughs> Josh, come on. Give me something to help them. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm trained. Can I roll? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Right, sure. Anything, anything at this point. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> hey, that's something. <laughs> All right. Uh, tree. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm like cry laughing. It's great. You have come across this a couple of times that you've walked around in Directian. You know this as an eye of enlightenment. What you do is you affix it to a weapon and uh, a sit. And uh, what happens is like when you strike someone with this, with uh, the, when you strike someone with the weapon and this thing is affixed to it, you get a free recall knowledge. Hmm. <clears throat> That's really good. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll relay that to the party. Mm -hmm. Ah, you just affix it to a weapon, and when you whack somebody with it, you get a fr <laughs> you get a, <laughs> you get a little bit of smarts. <laughs> it gets a little bit of smarts up in your brain space. I, 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 yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I think we get to. I think he means we get to remember something if we hit someone with it. And I, as long as the weapon's attuned to it or something? I, I, I guess. Uh, can I have a look at that? Yeah. Uh, he, he looks at it, and then uh, he uh, turns around so a tree doesn't see what I'm, what I'm about to do. He pulls out uh, a sword uh, he d uh, from somewhere. He, d he, he can't really... He d a tree doesn't know. <laughs> uh, and then he, he thinks to... Uh, he thinks to the sword. What do you think? Huh. Uh, hey, as in he's at. Oh, 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 I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, he's at the. Hmm. Well, it's a little bit of a dis. Well, it's a little disturbing. I wouldn't say. I won't say no if it helps you live. Um. I guess. Um, not not a fan of the design, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah. Actually, does does it look more like Bo Cobb's eye by any chance? Uh, roll religion. Okay. <laughs> please be better. Please be better. Please be better. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Uh, you're this lucky. Is this is deity, so. Well, it's close no. to. Uh, you're lucky that uh, this is. Uh, you're you're lucky that because of your profession and your backstory that your DC is lower. 
the eye looks like the eye of Savras. <gasps> and all of a sudden, his face lights up. This, this is the eye of Savras. Um, who's that? I, I don't recall off the top of my head. Okay. Um, okay, look, look, all right, uh, let me explain. You know what? No, scratch that. Scratch that. Let me sum up. <laughs> Urzaban Temple, torch, symbol on the torch. Uh, so, the, the the underground temple that, oh, that was his? That Eye of Savras, exactly. Oh. So if you bonk someone on the head with it, you'll actually know maybe something perhaps about him? That'd be interesting. Uh, more uh, more likely get uh, get a bit of knowledge from, uh, ba I guess, based on whatever I'm fighting or uh, what, whatever creature I'm fighting to get a little bit of, uh, like, that, the how to fight it, I, I guess, a little bit better. Oh. Out uh, of character, uh, what does it look like? Is it, like, just, like... A ball or a, a sword, a hammer? It's a, it's like a little it it's let me get a picture. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Alright. Because technically I already have a weapon. I feel like this is something that like Owen or AJ would benefit from. Yeah, if it, I, don't it, bonk, I don't bonk people though. Oh, I, shoot people. Okay. I technically bonk people, but and it's not a weapon, you know, so it's it wouldn't it's, it's, no, a, it's, it's a it's a it's a it's an attunement to a weapon. Hmm. And a two-mental weapon. Right, you I'm have to. Gonna, okay, I gotta put this in the. Uh, I gotta put this into the chat because that because uh, this is being stupid. That's fair. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So. Okay. If I were to. Okay. If. Oh, gives me that. <laughs> she wants it apparently. Okay, I don't want to steal it from anybody who really wants it. Um. Just so the thought occurred to me. Could that be like put on Seven's axe hatchet? Yeah, it could, could as long be. as it's affi affixed to a weapon. It could also be affixed to your uh, hand wraps. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, I bump people. I. I am. The, I am the muscle. We can decide who gets the magic bonking thing a little later. Yeah. That's fair. Well, That's well, fair. All right. Uh, anything? An any, anything left? Oh, no. <clears throat> Great. <laughs> is there anything left? Uh, there is. There Ooh. is uh, one last. There is one last thing. Uh, and these that and you know what these are because they're labeled. They're moderate healing potions. <laughs> Thank you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're. I think I'm gonna like. I'll hang on to those. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that. I think Adrian and Seven should hang on to those because they're usually a little bit more front fighters and I'm a further back one. In That's fact, the fair. only the only damage I've taken this campaign has been self-inflicted. Okay, fair. Also All right. fair. All right, so one for, one for Adrian and one for... Uh, one for Adrian and one for Seven. Uh, I will probably buy one later to give to Flint. But for right now, we're good. All right, and... Here. We'll figure out, and once we figure out what the, uh, the, the badge and the magnifying glass do, it's like maybe someone else in the party could help you figure those out. <laughs> Is it a Franklin badge? No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, actually, no, wait, hang on. Okay, so, uh, Tree, do you have any Arcana? Because no, he, he can't do it. He can't do anything. He doesn't. <laughs> nuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another. All right. All right. All right, so Adrian uh, turns around, in quotations, puts the sword away, <laughs> and, and then uh, goes to um, sit back on the couch. Um. So, Tree! You, uh, you were sitting here for work for your master? Why with us? Yeah. Well, I believe at the time, um, I, uh, actually, I'll start that over. 
Oh, I just do odd jobs around from time to time, and it seems that um, someone, uh, your benefactor has heard of me and just offered me some work. Factory? What's um, factory? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, oh god, did I get it wrong? And then I realized you're in character. <laughs> no, seven. It's just to help you out, or just to. You're going to find out very quickly, you might as well be talking to a child. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, oh, it's, um, it's uh, the, 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 uh, the turncoat, I believe, yeah. was the yeah. name on the letter. Yeah. All right, uh, this, uh, this uh, feller named the, the turncoat. What did he look like? Do I have that information? Uh, yes. He was, uh... Where is the word? Uh... He, he was covered in, uh... robes. And he covered his face. But, uh, <laughs> if you judged him for that, you'd be quite the hypocrite. So you just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did, lassie. Oh, but the fellow was covered from head to toe. I wouldn't trust a sort of person like that, now would you? <laughs> uh, Seven immediately, like, cocks her head to the side and then looks him up and down again and then looks at him again and blinks with, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tree smiles. <laughs> but because he can't. <laughs> Okay, my, my, let's see, I, he is not a clever man. <laughs> Are you saying I shouldn't trust you? Why me? Oh no, Alasha, you can trust me. I'm just in it for the money. I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you and your benefactor, Lash. Okay, I'm putting that into the out of context chat. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust me. I have to see it for the money. Um, I can't tell if this session is cursed or blessed, man. Because the whole uh, assume cursed. Assume the, cursed. The conversation. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Uh, Seven immediately re realizes that Adrian and Owen are no longer in the room with her, and the fact that this guy just said. Not to trust somebody that's covered head to toe in robes and mask. Um, <laughs> you can clearly see that her tail is twitching and the fur on her lion side back is starting to stand up. Mm -hmm. She's a little nervous now. Okay, I, he may not understand that that's a nervous gesture. Okay, that's fair. And he'll he'll just uh, point out. Oh, I did. Uh, okay, so question: Her tail is a lion's tail, right? Yeah, and it's twitching very aggressively. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, right, that's a pretty tail, lass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not really a lion's tail. It's got feathers on it, but still. Anyway. Okay. Okay. okay so. Up. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll just compliment you, like not understanding <laughs> that. <laughs> like that's an aggressive gesture. <laughs> uh, I'd imagine that, that Seven <laughs> as just, it's like he is giving off the mi most mixed signals right now. <laughs> he is saying threatening things, but he's also incredibly nice. Yeah, though she is very confused, but also really, really <laughs> nervous because she's like, I am all alone with the stranger. I don't like this. She's like, so she, she kind of lowers herself down, like almost in a pounce attack position, but she is restraining herself. All right. You are not here to hurt my family, are you? Oh, of course not, Lassie. The the uh, uh, mm -mm -mm, I'm trying to find the proper words. The the parameters of my job were to get you and your your jobs finished. I would never hurt you during this job. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Um, again, that 
is not helping. This is so boys are now turning a very vibrant red. This is so blurst. <laughs> so blurst. <laughs> um, but realizing though that like he's still very confused. He's giving off all the weirdest signals. Her eyes are red. She is not trusting him, and she starts to back away. <laughs> He'll just kind of politely watch her again, smiling, but too dumb to realize <laughs> that, that that's not helpful. <laughs> I, I, I am sobbing right now. I am sobbing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Adrian! Owen! Where'd you go? I, oh. She bumps into the door. Uh, Adrian opens it. Uh, yes. Uh, Rob, well, she bumps oh, right oh. into you then. <laughs> Ow. Tree man, that's not a tree. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> he says one thing, but then, then said another, and now I don't trust. I'm scared. Uh, what, 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 is, what do you say? He said don't trust people that are dressed from head to toe and wear a mask. I, uh, take take five, uh, seven. I, I I think he's telling the he's telling the truth. He's just um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, daft. <laughs> <laughs> take five what? Five of his fingers? No, no, I I mean calm down. Take five metaphor for calm down. <laughs> oh, you shut the door! <laughs> oh, it just, uh, it's like, uh, door slammed in my face. Uh, seven, oh, six, I, I, I guess my let me try got drowned out. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am so sorry. No, 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 no. I, I had to turn away from the mic, and that, that probably what did it. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Um. Hi. So, um, you're scaring her. So what exactly is going on out here? Oh, I, I, I um, profusely apologize, lass, but I am just simply here to give you assistance in whatever means um, that would be helpful to you. Okay. I was hired by your benefactor uh, to <clears throat> come in and help you with a job. Once I do so, he will hand me a bag of gold that I'll take to my master, and then I'll be done. Thing is, though, uh, not really... I have quite the bone to pick with him. I don't know if benefactor would be the right word. See, he helped us find this creature in the sewers. But he was... He warned us too late. A piece of that creature, it was one of those ones that can separate, escaped, and... killed my brother. And nearly killed my niece as well. So, I basically did his dirty work, and he couldn't even help me save my family. So, benefactor would not be the word I would use for him. So, I think you can understand why I, at least, may have a little bit of a harder time fully feeling comfortable with you. I understand that that is none of your fault. But the fact that he sent you, I am not happy with him at the moment. He will give a polite bow, or at least polite as he thinks he can manage it. Um, and he'll go, oh, I'm sorry. I'm quite sorry, lass. I did not mean to upset you or your friends. But I, I am sincere and honest that I'm only here uh, to do a quick job. I don't know anything about this individual you are working with and I I promise that uh, once our business is concluded I'll be out of your hair forever finally over a 10 Huzzah! 
and not making tea an actual role that helps. Maybe. I, <laughs> I can do, I, I can do yeah, I could do a follow up to that that you can include in the sense motive, like if you would All like. right, go ahead. Do the, do okay. the follow up while I do it. Go. I wish I could tell you more about uh, me and my master. I could tell you exactly where the farm is, but as far as um, I am concerned, to you, you are also strangers to me. True. And it is and not I, necessarily I, you and your master whom I fear or have a distaste for. Hmm. That's fair enough, lass. If you want me to go, I sh I shall, but, um, I... <laughs> no, but if he, if he, if this person thinks that we're going to need help in order to find... Did you read the note in order to sort of get abreast of the situation? Uh, how much do I know? Because in, uh... You, did a, you, a... did a, you didn't read the note because you thought it would have been rude because it wasn't for your eyes. <laughs> yep, um, yep. I say, uh, no lass. All I all I understood was that I was supposed to hand you the note and then do what you say. Okay. He thinks that we're going to need help in order to find a colleague of mine, a powerful. She doesn't want to say necromancer, so she says cleric. Uh, by the name of Doctor Gander. Can he I thinks... sense motive? I'm sorry. I apologize because you're holding back that word, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Can I sense motive on that? Oh, hell! The section yeah, is go. one of my sucky stats! This will be interesting! All right, go for it. Go for uh, it. I am super duper sorry. Where is my perception? There it is! Okay, uh, perception... <laughs> Hold on, I'm clicking, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, it, so, my deception DC is... Uh, what, plus my modifier? 10? Yeah, 10. 10, so yeah, he beats your deception. So yeah, you can easily tell that she... Okay, so you definitely noticed that little thing where she was changing around her... Uh, that she deliberately uh, held back on a word and was trying to use something a little more acceptable. So this is either scandalous or she's trying... Or given that, given her personality, you feel like she's trying to protect someone. <laughs> All right, uh, he'll say nothing. Okay. Uh, Seba pokes her head out upon hearing that. But what about that tiefling lady? We need to find her! And that's actually another thing. I think that since she summoned it, and she was with him, I think if we find Dr. Gander, we may be close to finding her. But what do we find her first? Then maybe she knows where he is. I'm perfectly fine with that as well. As long as we find both of them. I'm not too keen. I'm not too picky about the order. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm... Um, Seven kind of realized that she was inserting, but... <laughs> it's okay, Seven. You can come out. He's... I, just oh, I don't want to find her. And that's and I agree, and I want to find her as well. In regards to him though, I don't think he's here to cause trouble. I don't think I would have let him into my house, and he hasn't done anything to my house. So I think we're okay. For now. But, you know, you remember you remember Boulder. We never met anyone like him before. He was a little hard to read sometimes. Cora, a little hard to read. Didn't know her, but you wound up getting along with both of them very well. Raymond. Raymond wears a mask. Raymond is like me. Well, he likes to play. And you may find that Tree likes to play as well, so we just have to give him a chance. But you know that no matter what happens, she... She uh, moves one of her shoulders in order to hit, uh, like, sort of move Isaiah to, to draw attention to him. Mm -hmm. No, but you, you know that will help you, okay? He will take out his Yahtzee set and pla place it on the table. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yes, yes. no. Yes! 
All right, so uh, does Seven wish to play Yahtzee? <laughs> Seven just takes one look at this thing and then looks back at him and then looks back down and says, Does this look like yarn? Or a dead hand to chase? You don't know how to play very well, do you? Nay, nee, lassie. My whole life I've just known, um, well, work and... Um, other things. <laughs> it's it's not been fun. I just recently learned to roll bones because I found the name funny. That's not how you play. Oh, why don't you show me? This is, after all, uh, after all, as they say, I'm on the clock. Uh, at that, Seven <laughs> proceeds to look at Owen and Adrian before she steps back and just starts bounding around the room and oh, gets oh, into I'm... a playful puppy position and wiggles Seven. her tail up and back, up and down. Seven, if we're going to, if you're going to play like that, could you please play outside? My, my, don't think my downstairs neighbor will appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, lass. Let's head on outside. And <laughs> I'm, now, I'm now thinking like, um, okay, so is there like a ball or something? Like, does she have toys? No. <laughs> she, likes, she likes wrestling. Oh, okay. <laughs> to play. I want to play a game. 